What's going on everyone? I'm Sir James coming to you guys with another video and for this video I'm here to bring you guys some Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag online multiplayer match and of course provide a little bit of commentary along the way so let's go ahead and try to jump Looking into a match. Um, this is what mode this, was this? It's the mode where basically um, there's two different ones where when you first start off you're either the attacker or defenders and then after the round ends you switch places. So if you're the defenders you're basically trying to hide from the attackers and try to survive the longest as possible. Basically trying to score as much points. If you're the attacker then you have to attack the opposing team and basically get the most points as well. So pretty simple as that. So, so far we have four people in the slot. We are looking for another mode. All right, now we got three people. All right, so let me go ahead and quit this and try to find a uh, better match. So let's see, custom match, wolf pack. All right, so ahead. Looking for game session. Try this one more time. Not too many people have been playing the online multiplayer so I don't know how well we're going to get into a match or not um, but it's kind of like 50 50 so there's a chance you may get into one there's a chance you may not get into one but um oh there we go so I just need to figure out which team I'm on and who to be on lookout for okay so we got male and female I just need to figure out what side I'm on. We currently have six in the party. We need two more. Well, two more for a fair game, that is. Or it could be three on three. Actually, I didn't do too bad um, playing online for my first match, uh, which was pretty good I was surprised the game session is about to start okay we're about to start so let's see what's team I'm okay I'm I'm the dude on the left and our opponents are the females on the right so it's currently three on three hopefully one more will join before we actually start <laughs> taunting our enemies. Round one. All right, here we go. Your objective is to reach your targets. Find them amongst the lookalikes. Okay, then so kill them. for the first match, I am the attacker. So my objective is to find our targets and eliminate, eliminate them. <laughs> eliminate. <laughs> I don't even know how to talk today. Of course, the multiplayer is more stealth focused, so I mean, running around, giving your location away is not going to be the key here. The little icon right there, right where my guy is, the more the meter fills up, the closer I am to my target. The abilities I have is to be able to um, change my outfit to look like someone else. I got it there. We are hunting the females. All right, got one. The player has left the game session. All right. Got her. So that's two. All right, I'm not doing too bad. I also have the ability to throw these change down, but that's more like if I was a defender. Hiding from my target. I didn't see my target there. All right, sweet. Three for three. Very good start. 
I'm actually starting to get the hang of it. Like before, I'm not really that big into the online multiplayer, but you know, after, I'm not sure how many times of trying, I'm actually starting to get better at this. Like one of the things I was hoping for for the game is, um, I have like naval combat for the online multiplayer. Look like you got him. So yeah, my opponent was in disguise. I was about to uh, kill a an enemy AI there. Oh crap! Which one is it? Civilian nope. killed. You have been oh. stunned. So that was two failed attempts right there. Because the enemy can't kill us, they can only stun us. And so far, they're winning by a ton of points. We basically lost this one. But yeah, look at the point system. I got four kills in that one, so not too bad. You get more points if you, um, oh, which I'll show you in the next round, because now I have to round try to survive. Two. Your objective is to hide and score. Hide with your teammates to score more. Yeah, that's basically what I was going to say, hide with your teammates. See, like, this person's running like an idiot. I'm gonna try to stick with my uh, empty uh, buddy over here. The whispering means there's an enemy close by, like right there. So I knocked out one, but then the other one got me. I knocked out one, but then I ended up dying again.
We need to catch up like 4,000 points. I'm out in the open, I don't want to get hit right here. Oh, what the hell? That was kind of brutal. I need to find my teammates. The player has left the game session. See, this is why I don't really enjoy AC multiplayer that much. It's because people always leave the matches. for the uh, player. Oh, they're both together. I just don't like playing as the, you know, the defenders trying to hide from our target. I just want to be the attackers all the time. But I don't do so well as the defenders. So, yeah, we, I'm not going to win this round, so I'm not even going to try that much. I mean, I'm going to try. I'm just not going to try to win because my team... There's only one person on my team because everyone else I love. Come on, I attacked first. When you attack first, you're supposed to stun your opponent, but the opponent always wins. I don't get that. That's still one of the things that confuses the living hell out of me in this game. I think it was like two on two that last round. Yep, two on two, because every time I play these, people always keep on leaving. So, uh, takes the fun out of it. Let's see if I leveled up at all. Alright, sweet. I leveled up. And I got a new perk called Copycat. Almost twice, so not too bad. So at least there was something good that came out of it for this round. So let's see. Copycat allows you to copy the ability set by your opponent who just killed you. Pretty cool. But anyways, that was Assassin's Creed 4 Online Multiplayer. I think there's other modes for the game. Uh, I'll have to double check. I don't know. I don't really like the menu layout though. Maybe that's just me. But you have crafting abilities, edit your character's visuals. Let's see who we got here. We got some pretty cool looking characters here. This guy looks pretty cool. The Night Stalker. Kind of looks like the Doctor in a way. With the Adventure. Looks pretty cool. 
And I do have the season pass. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some uh, other characters that are going to release, uh, you know, once new content comes out. Let's see, crafting abilities. So they have a crafting system for that. So once I figure that out, I'll probably do a separate video on that. Ability sets. So here I could add one more, it looks like. Oh, no, that's for a ranged perk one. Let's see what I got here. Okay, so I got to spend points to um, unlock these. So once you unlock them, you got to spend points because there's two different ones. There's a blue icon and like a purple icon. Uh, I think purple is if you spend like money currency, you get it for cheaper or you could spend the blue points. Just making a guess here. Um, but you have a bunch of different ones to choose from. And I know in the game also you could actually you kind of design your own map. Uh, not map, but uh, matches with the game lab right here. To the game lab by Abstergo Entertainment. You can use the game lab to customize games. So, which I think is pretty cool. So maybe you want to create a match where uh, everything is using ranged weapons, melee weapons, or how many points you get per kill and all that, which I think is pretty cool. And of course, there's training down here if you get, if you want to learn how to play, if you're not familiar with how to play. Um, but anyways, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. If you guys would like me to upload some more Assassin's Creed 4 multiplayer, let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, look forward to my review this week. Um, anyways, once again, I'm Sir James from Gamer Fusion, and remember, Gamer Fusion empowers your gaming.